Here's part two of our conversation with Steve Hackett, our sixth or seventh I've Lost Track interview with a former Genesis guitarist. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Stream Music. Under the Mediterranean Sky is coming out on January 22nd. You can pre-order it on HackettSongs.com. There'll be links to his website in the description of this video. For this series, our sixth or seventh, like I said, I've lost track. Every first clip on all these will be from the new interview. And then we're going to include some of the most popular questions we've asked him in the past. Here's Steve Hackett. By the way, you, I noticed on your—I was just on your site. You you have rearranged or rejigged some uh, as far as the what's the what's the concert Steve Hackett concert? Uh, uh, what's that going to look like in the yeah? Uh, what I what I was going to play uh, at most shows is going to be um, the whole of Seconds Out. So the whole of Seconds Out live album and full length versions of of those tunes. So no um, uh, unforeseen segues and shortenings of things. No, we we do the whole deal. Plus, there'll be some solo stuff as well. So I'm really looking forward to that. Whenever the world is open for business, we will be we will be back on stage. Normal service resumed as soon as possible. Yeah, good. There was a fan that the last time I talked to you had said about, you know, you're, you're so prolific in, in, in all the things you put together. Uh, he had mentioned something, and he's a guitar player, but he's not well known. He said, yeah. he said, one of those songs would take me a thousand years to write. Just one of those from your last yeah. album. So, oh. so here's to oh. you. <laughs> well, you know, uh, I, I'm a fan of, um, you know, uh, uh, many people, you know, great writers. And um, we, we all have the same, the same thing, the anxiety of influence. Yeah. Um, when you have heroes, whether they are classical heroes that are non, non-competitive in that Tchaikovsky isn't re- releasing any records recently, but... There's the legacy of, of the amazing orchestrations, compositions, concepts, and, and 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 all the rest. You know, arguably the inventor of heavy metal, Cannon's going off on the 1812 overture. Um, yeah. Uh, if that isn't heavy metal, I don't know what is. Um, so, it would be a mistake to think that anything that one could do in music is new. All you you do is you put your own slant on it. And I'm not going. To, so I'd like to demystify it and say that that whatever I've done, I think with enough patient attention to detail and working with great collaborators, I think that if everyone's a detail freak, the music will get better. And what all we're looking for is for things to improve as we as we go along. So I do these things that could have been written. In you know the the eighteen hundreds you know that that sort of nineteenth century um, romanticism or I go back to um, the Baroque period and uh, occasionally record a piece by Bach or Scarlatti. Uh, one of the pieces on the album is a Scarlatti piece, born in the same year as Bach, sixteen eighty five, same year as Handel. So you got three of them: Domenico Scarlatti, J. S. Bach, and and Mr. Handel. And um, you think, what's going on there? What, what, what was so great about that year? Um, you know, why did they all arrive at once? Um, it's, all, it's all a mystery. M- music is a mystery. I don't think it can be taught. You can teach people to read and you can teach people to play. But the quantum leap that is writing satisfactorily for yourself and others um, is, a, is a thing that... It comes over time, you know. There has to be a burning ambition to do it, but uh, but I think it's brick by brick. Uh, I don't think there's any quick answers here. I wish I could make this more sexy for everyone. Say, <laughs> what you've got to do is go out and buy yourself a wonderful tiara, get wear sparkling clothes, and, and go out and get on stage and just be divine, darling. Well, that would be you know um, one way of doing it. And indeed, you, you can fake it to make it. And if you've got the right shoes, the right hair, and if you're very much younger than me, um, you've got a very good chance of um, having a head start. But um, there's the other side of it, which is experience, which means, you know, the older and more decrepit you get, the more um, experience you have. And therefore, it's this trade-off between, you know, physicality versus whatever goes on up here in, this, in these grey cells. 
Under a Mediterranean Sky is the brand new album from Steve Hackett. You can order it on his website. The links will be in the description of this video. Make sure you comment on our video, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music.